Okay, so. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know how to start this. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Brooks and Zach <laughs> You started it when I was texting. Look, God, what? okay, fine. Welcome, welcome, welcome That's, to the Brooks and Zach Hunter. You're letting me do it. Okay, go Let ahead. me do it. All right, go ahead. You this is it. all that I have. I know, it's pretty It's sad. my thing. No, I get okay. it, I get it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Brooks and Zach 100 Years Podcast. I'm Brooks, and Zach's a piece of shit. So. <laughs> all right, all right. You may notice that the quality of the podcast sounds a little bit better. The Slightly. Content, the content is... The content is, if anything, worse. Always is. But yeah. at least it just... You sound... I sound better. Brooks, well... I got the whole f- my voice thing, so... Yeah. It's it's uh, fatal. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, no. That's... Oh boy! <laughs> I like how we're both kind of out of it right now because I sent the ice cream text to everybody. Yeah, yeah, we're getting ice cream with our friends after this. Well, after this, and then after after Seven this, we Samurai. watch Seven Samurai, yep. and then we go get ice cream. But what? What's the topic today? Great question, Brooks. <laughs> uh, we go into the news first. That's yeah. how these things work. I have plenty of the news. Don't worry; it'll all be revealed in due time. Sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> So, so, uh, real quick, we got some stuff from all over. Blizzard is hiring people to restore all of its older games, like Warcraft 3, Diablo 2, and Starcraft to their former glory. Really? Yes. Why not just, you know, make new games like all the other companies are doing? Or, I don't know, like, World of Warcraft hasn't seemed to fail for them yet. No. So they could keep building up on that. Like, look, they're doing the Pokemon. Have, have, oh, they are? Pretty much. I mean, like, by that, I mean, you know, people keep buying it. So is they're it gonna Pocket keep Monsters it. now? Or is it Digimon because it's a video game? Well, no, Digimon was its own thing because Digimon were digital monsters. Digimon yeah, are digital, the champions. digital and video game. Those are the things that go I together. I really want Pokemon Go still. I want you to know that. I know. I want Pokemon Go at, as well. And I, as you know, I don't give a shit about Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. And I really want Pokemon Go, so you know that's exciting. Oh, I, I really hope it's going to be great. Anyway, uh, look at the mic that I brought in. You, oh, see, yeah. you see how it's having epileptic seizures on yeah, it? Uh, yeah. That's why I had the tape over it before. Oh, you- that's what that piece of tape was for. Because yeah. I'm like, why is there a piece of tape on here? I'll just throw that in the garbage. <laughs> Thanks, Brooks. Uh, do you have any other tape so uh, I can replace it after this? Because ye- it's too late yeah, now. Yeah, I, 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 I'll, I'll have seizure tape. Seizure warnings. That's, that was me having a seizure right there. <laughs> My stuttering. Out? Did I stroke out? Somebody is stroked out. <laughs> that was a good JonTron. Yes, it was. That's also in the news. New JonTron came out. New Team Four Star. Super Android Thirteen. One of their best movies, in my opinion. It was really great. Uh, what was your favorite joke from that? Uh, probably the Go Ten. Go that one. was my favorite as oh, well. God, <laughs> that I... was so good. <laughs> Did uh did uh Mosco X did he voice Gohan in that? I don't know who did. They but... didn't they didn't give they didn't credit anyone else as Gohan, so I think it he might have been doing a different voice for it, but it might have been him. Alright. Uh, it works. Okay. So Paul Rudd is to star in Warcraft Director's new sci fi movie, Mute. What? You see the guy who Directed, who is directing the upcoming Warcraft movie. Yes, you said that. I love uh, that part. Duncan Jones, who is actually David Bowie's son. I believe he originally started his life as Zowie Bowie. <laughs> Zowie Bowie? Yeah, because apparently David Bowie, like, apparently it's pronounced David Bowie. Instead, he just never corrects people. Really? Yes. That's nice. So, he directed two, like, one really good sci-fi movie and one pretty good sci-fi movie. He directed Moon, starring Sam Rockwell. And then Source Code, starring Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay. And now he's doing the Warcraft movie, and everyone's really excited because he's a good director. Hmm. So now apparently Paul Rudd's going to be in a new movie from him after Warcraft called Mute. For some reason, the name Paul Rudd just makes me think of one of those animals you would have in Animal Crossing. Just like who would come by, he's like, hi, I'm Paul Rudd. And you're like, ah, what a weird name for a hippo. <laughs> <laughs> It's not even like a pun or anything. No, it's not. It's just it's just what I was envisioning. I was like, huh. All right, Rudd. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Howdy, neighbor. <laughs> Paul Rudd, the hippo. And then you look, and he's uh, digging behind his house. He's always digging, never stopping. And you look at him one time, and he just locks eyes with you and goes, I'm telling you, Rudd. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and then, this went to a place. <laughs> uh, I'd 
play Animal Crossing. So, the first few photos from the Magic Beast or Where to Find Them or some bullshit like that. What? The new Harry Potter thing has come out that's like a oh, prequel. Uh, uh, it's got, that's a picture. Yeah, it looks like a picture, all right. Yeah, that is a picture. That is also a picture. I was not a Harry Potter person. Uh, I, I was a Harry Potter person when the movies were coming out. So within that span of 10 years, I was a Harry Potter person. As soon as the last movie came out, I'm like, I don't care about any of this anymore. <laughs> like, I'm, I have no, like, I watched all the movies when they came out, like, through my childhood. And all of the books, I read all of the books, and all the books were read to me when I was really young. And as soon as the last movie came out, I'm like, eh, I don't really, I don't really care anymore. <laughs> They're old. They did it. They, they saved they, the world. They done did it. They conquered the world there with the box office. <laughs> what? The box office? I don't know. The movies were successful, right? Um, yeah, I believe so. I mean, uh, I mean, they made eight of them, so I assume. <laughs> well, they also made eight of the X Men movies. How many X Men movies? Okay, hang on. X Men One, X Two, X Men United, uh, X Men: The Last Stand. Then there was the Wolverine movie, which no one likes to talk about. I like the Wolverine movie. The, the one where he went to Japan. No, the other one. Oh. Yeah, we yeah. Don't like to talk about Then it that. was First Class. Then it was the one where he we went to Japan, and that one was pretty all right. Yeah. And then there was uh, Days of Future Past, which is probably my favorite one. Yeah. Because uh, it got probably, rid of all the other ones. Probably the best one? I don't know. I liked it. I yeah. liked it. Some people think First Class is the best one. I'm just I like. I've seen that one. Uh, it's, it's all right. I think it's like I think it's a bit weaker than people say it is, just mm -hmm. in my personal opinion. But I think. Future Pass is probably the best one. I think the Quicksilver scene is what did it for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's definitely the best scene. Yeah. Uh, and then X-Men Apocalypse is coming out. That'll be number eight. Okay. And then whenever they come out with Old Man Logan, that'll be number That's nine. That's going to be awesome. So it's going to be like three separate trilogies. They got the first X-Men trilogy. Which doesn't exist anymore, technically. Uh, which, yes, yes. If we're, if, we're, <laughs> if we're being technical, it doesn't exist. And then there's the Wolverine trilogy which one of them isn't going to exist which is you know the first one yeah. and then the japan one will exist or will it i don't know it doesn't actually now that i think about it Why it not? doesn't exist just make him fight samurai and ninjas who also yeah. have swords and then uh and then you'll have the first class trilogy that exists that one exists <laughs> okay so that is those are the trilogies of X Men movies. What were we talking about I don't before know. this? Uh, the news. Oh yeah, Harry Potter. <laughs> there's, there's a Harry Potter thing coming out. They got a bunch of set photos. That's nifty. Yeah, they all holding holding their magic sticks. Did you hear the thing about Quentin Tarantino and the whole like him shouting at police officers kind of thing? Really? What happened there? Uh oh, jeez. There was like a whole thing on the news. Pretty much, he made a couple bad decisions. Made kind of like a. Yeah, who gives a shit about the police kind of ordeal. I mean, it wasn't that specific. I remember hearing he was at some kind of rally yeah, or something. Yeah, pretty much he did something that like didn't sit well with a lot of people who care about what directors do when they're not directing movies. Right. So my dad comes to me and he's like, I don't think I'm going to see his movie now because of uh, this little stunt. I'm like, Dad, I'm going to be honest. He could kill a man, but as long as he comes out with Hateful Eight, look, I, <laughs> look, I don't care. I don't see Tarantino gonna... movies just because I'm like, oh, well, he's a nice guy. Yeah, I don't... He's not... Ter he's, he's... Look, look, I'm sure he's a perfectly fine person, but he's also kind of a douchebag. Yeah, he's a pretty... Yeah, he's douche. pretty douchey. But he directs very I well. I love his movies. Yeah. Look... If I'm going to go out and see a Roman Polanski movie, I'm going to see a Quentin Tarantino movie. <laughs> you know? I don't get the reference. Uh, I'll give you the I back. will. <laughs> here. Uh, uh, Roman you Polanski that committed... That you could stop. You got the laugh, bro. Oh. So <laughs> Roman Polanski committed some crimes. I won't go into detail because it's pretty horrific, but 13 is close to 18, right? <laughs> There you go. Now you know where to cut back to. Oh, there we go. We had a discussion about Roman Polanski, and <laughs> since we're since our podcast is based around fun and joy and seeing the good in humanity, we decided to cut it I out. I don't think it's about seeing the good in humanity. Okay, Dude. since it's about fun and joy and the worst possible <laughs> things a human being can do, we decided to cut it? Keep it? I don't know. I'll decide Maybe later. Maybe half and half. Okay, so cleaner. what were we talking about? Oh, uh, Harry Potter. Yeah, there was a <laughs> All Harry... right, well, we're done with that. So we're we... done with Harry Potter. Um, the Halo 5 Guardians sees the biggest launch in the franchise history. 
Really? So, yeah, that's the most successful one now. And it doesn't have split screen. Really? Yep. I was not impressed with that. I mean, like, they're like, oh, yeah, we couldn't do split screen because we needed 60 FPS. And I'm like, well, I'd rather have split screen. Yeah. Because that's what makes... I don't know. That's Look, what Halo was for me. Going uh, to my neighbor's house, he had Halo. I sat down next to him. He would throw a grenade at the ground, and I, he'd say, "Hey, look at that!" I'm like, "What is it?" And I die. <laughs> he's like, "What is that thing on the ground? <laughs> Why is it humming and getting bigger and blue?" Is oh. that a fuse? <laughs> but um, yeah, people who go on about frames per second annoy me because it's such a meaningless thing. It's yeah. a, it's such. Like, I don't know. Have you seen 60 FPS pornography? Why do you have to always bring it here? I'm just saying. Okay, have you fine. Seen it? Look, be be it's... real with me. Have you seen? No, I have not. Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> Brooks. I know you said it's not that big a deal. Look, but trust me. Fine. All right. I'll look some up later. You know what? I, I no. Have to, no no Brooks, stop. Take my don't take my phone. I just I have some bookmarks that I can't have anybody see. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, you get different looks, and it's neat to see how they look different and everything, but for people who get really upset when something isn't 60 frames per second, I'm like, look, it'll look nicer if it is, but it's not the end of the world. Right. Yeah, like, whatever. <laughs> I was at a, I was at a Halloween party, well, party, quote unquote. I don't like actual parties, because I'm very socially awkward. So yeah, like, you are. So I go to, I go to, like, nerd parties, and at my nerd parties... I was there with Yaskovich and Griffin. They're more like gatherings. Yeah, like gatherings. That. I prefer gatherings. I don't like parties. Yes. Uh, Yaskovich, like Josh Yaskovich and our friend Griffin <laughs> He's went the with only me. one we give the full name of yeah, every single time. No one gives a shit. <laughs> Yaskovich described that party we were at as a bunch of theater kids sitting around trying not to cry. <laughs> yeah. But it was, but he had a good time, and everyone had a good time. Everyone but we watched, had a good time not trying to cry. We watched, right. we watched The Thing. Uh, which what is a thing? very good movie. Uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. What was his thing? Uh, it was an alien. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We watched why, the movie why alien. Just be the alien. We watched <laughs> the movie Alien. We watched John Carpenter's The Thing, which is my favorite horror movie because, you know, Halloween and everything. And everyone really liked it. But uh, the host, our friend Andrew, uh, his TV was set to 60 frames per second. Yeah. And we're just like. You know, it'd be, it'd be a lot better if you turned it off, you know. It's like, well, I don't know, but you don't have to worry about that because it wasn't made in 60 frames per second, so it won't really register on the TV. I'm like, the TV is in 60 frames per second. We're going to be able to notice it. He's like, no, no. Well, we noticed it a lot. It was. What did it look like? Uh, it looks okay. Not as good as if it was in 24 frames, like film and everything, but oh. it, it wasn't a big deal. Like I said, it's not a big deal. It looked... It looked fine. It was just like a little wonky when it did pans. I want you to know that the first time you said, yeah, I'm not interested in it. It doesn't bother me that much. You took like five minutes to explain. Look, look, man. Fuck you. I don't need this. <laughs> That's another Yaskovich thing I've picked a up Yaskovich from spending a lot. Yaskovich special. You I, I've spent... picked up from spending a lot of time with him recently. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay, okay so maybe... Halo 5 Guardians. It was very successful. And Moving didn't on. have split screen. Did anyway. not. Uh, Iceman. It was an X-Man. We were talking about X-Man. But in the yeah. comics, he has been confirmed as a homosexual. Okay. So I'm like, yeah, pretty. that's pretty good. It's one of the first really major characters from the old, like, 1960s Silver Age and everything to be confirmed. Iceman looks a... like he'd be a homosexual. Going past that comment, but... <laughs> But yeah, it's 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 really neat that that, that like that's finally been confirmed. I mean, so, yeah. Him and Silver Surfer, I could see them getting it going. I mean, look at those two I, reflectory I'd, bodies. I'd watch that. Okay, so let me cannot... Google that real oh, quick. No, all right, that's gonna be another tab bookmark <laughs> that no one can see. Right, uh, Konami on. confirms shuttering of Kojima Productions Los Angeles studio. Mm -hmm. So, it was rumored that with all the like the stuff, the falling out with. Uh, Kojima and Konami Konami just being a butt and a bad company and everything mm -hmm. canceling his other project Silent Hills which I was excited for but now I'm sad but yeah they've shuttered they've closed down the, Kana the Kojima studios in Los Angeles so that's kind of confirmed that they're really phasing out Ko like Hideo Kojima and all of his stuff yeah it'll be interesting to see where Metal Gear goes mm. after this without him because they like took his name out of Metal Gear Solid 5 and all that. But, yeah, whatever. 
I cannot seem to find Silver Surfer X Iceman. Really? I, I want to know why. These characters have been around for 40 years. Do you think? Let me try putting in Rule 34 after that. All right. So, 20th Century Fox is opening a theme park. Oh, that did it. Oh, okay. <laughs> in Dubai. It will include The Simpsons, Aliens, Predator, and more. That was... That yeah? Was, that was more? Perfect. Really? Yes, and more. So, uh, that's that's the thing. Uh, uh, you can... you Like, Josh Yaskovich can't see my... Uh, yeah. Can't see my text. So, you can just tell him that he I is. am in. Yep, he's in for the ice cream. We're doing ice cream after this, then Seven Samurai. Or Seven Samurai, then the ice cream. Yes. It's a nice day today. Uh, today's going to be a good day, yeah. And then tomorrow is going to be the 5th of November. Remember? Remember? Was the there something I was supposed to remember yeah, the on 5th the 5th of November? Of November. Yeah. Something about... Why do you have gunpowder? Some treason or... <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 man. I don't need this. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. What am I, like, some kind of owl? Do I hoot? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, I feel like our comedy is just on game this episode. Our comedy is just... We got, we, got a new, we got a new mic. We got a fancy new mic, and now we're just, I like, think, improving drastically. the perfect metaphor for our comedy is if we ate a bunch of shit, uh-huh. and then we had a bucket right next to us. I'm with you. We hit the record button yes. on a microphone, and then we cram our finger into the back of our throat and hurled into a bucket. The audio that that recording picks up, we then take it, rub it up against a magnet, and then try to upload it to YouTube. <laughs> and then it'll say, Corruption. File not found. And then that's the, that's the our comedy. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were going to be like, put a bunch of shit in your mouth, Put the finger in the mouth so it, like it pushes it out of the nose like a Play-Doh thing, <laughs> but I was wrong. So that's something. Jailbreak for iOS nine worth one million dollars. Wait, what happened? A team of hackers has successfully cracked Apple's iOS nine. Was it the four chan that hacker? I don't know. It. Will, who is this four chan? <laughs> what is his goal? He wants the anonymous. He wants. He wants the anonymous to recognize his four chan. Four chan. -ness. Ness. <laughs> four -chan. <laughs> oh, four chan. Four dun, 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 dun. Rape. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Uh, oh God, that's a horse eats corn <laughs> thing you just did right there. You see, if you do, if you keep doing that every episode, then people are gonna be like, "Oh, is he doing a horse eats corn again?" That's <laughs> old. You should stop doing it because it makes Brooks incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't think they'll say that. I think you're the only one who's saying. Look, that. when we get letters, the first letter will be either. <laughs> do we have a PO box yet? Yes. Brooks and Zach at Brooks it's and the Zach email. <laughs> Just send it to the Brooks and Zach Tower up on Brooks and Zach Street. Yeah, on, on the Brooks and Zach Island. Yeah, in Hundred Years you Avenue. Know, you know, it's the island on the avenue. Look. Look, if you take the game Mist, and you get the island from that, get the island from Mist, take the town from Twin Peaks, sort of rub them together a little, sprinkle some Gravity Falls without the comedy, oh. if you then take something else that's weird and just sort of shove it in there, then that is the Brooks and Zach Island. It is a place of mystery and adventure coming and this... And nobody wants to be there. Coming this January... 2025 <laughs> so they broke the they got the jailbreak and it's worth one they got the one million dollar prize that apple set up so that's pretty cool that's good what was that oh that's the legos ralph finds you know because it's spelled like ralph yeah. you know you said rafe this is a weekly planet bit by the way so i won't dwell on it but we're gonna call you ralph <laughs> ralph finds will play alfred in the lego batman movie Who's he is ralph? Who's that? He, he was the he was the Nazi in Schindler's List. I don't think I saw Schindler's List. Okay, we'll watch that later. Please, it's, it's really, I, it's I've been really hearing sad. Hearing Morty that that movie and Full Metal Jacket are amazing. Yes, they are. But um, did you see a uh, Grand Budapest Hotel? I've been meaning to. Oh well, he's the main guy in that. How fancy! Too bad I didn't see it, Brooks. Have you seen Skyfall? The James Bond movie? Yeah. No. Oh, have you seen? <laughs> Have you seen... I'm trying to think of Ralph Fiennes' movie. Have you seen The English Patient? No. Oh. It would have been funny if you said yes, because that's the one that no one likes. <laughs> well, that's probably what I'll uh, end Okay, with. fine. I'll I'll have his IMDb up in a minute. I just gotta no, no, get no. through keep, the... keep going with the news. I'll look him up. So, Jon Stewart signs new production deal with HBO. 
The former Daily Show host will now create occasional digital news commentary content. So that's cool. He gets to be on the HBO with John Oliver. So <laughs> yeah. I like both those people. I was sad when he left, but I saw him in, in WWE in the SummerSlam. I saw him. It was, it was nice. Oh, he was in the Avengers. No, oh, you're thinking of the 1997 one where the... 1998, Brooks. 1998. God, well, get it together. Look, I was too transfixed by Sean Connery in a bear costume. <laughs> uh, His Dark Materials trilogy turning into a BBC TV series. Oh, I hear those books are good. Brooks. Have you ever seen The Golden Compass? Uh, yes. That was the first one. But the studio's just like, we don't like this, so we're going to chop it up a bunch and then shove it shove it out into theaters. And the director have, was really mad. Have you heard of the movie The Chum Scrubber? No, I have not. All right, well, he was in that. Did he scrub chum, I assume? I'm guessing he did. Look oh, at that. that's a chum scrubber if I've ever seen <laughs> chub one. Chum scrubber? <laughs> I meant to say chum. Uh, let's see. Oh, it was a comedy drama film. Uh, the plot was... Uh... We've diverged quite a bit. Yeah, no, don't worry. We can't let the listeners know that we didn't prepare for today's topic. Troy Johnson was a supplier of prescription drugs to the fellow high school students, uh, but his best friend commits suicide. What the fuck, dude? That's not a comedy. That's 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 not very funny. What the heck is going on? They, they there's a kiss at the end. Hooray! Shakespeare kiss comedy. plays at the end. Yeah. Oh, sure. I've got other porn on my tabs. Oh, rock and roll all night. And party every night. And party every suicide. <laughs> anyway, it's, this episode's going downhill fast. It's going uphill quickly. <laughs> it's going, we are rocketing. It's like going I'm... uphill slowly. Get this ready. Uh, yeah. First Amazon physical retail location opens today. Really? Yeah. For the first time, people now have the opportunity to visit an official Amazon retail location. Located in Seattle's University Village, Amazon Books is a brick-and-mortar bookstore that works in tandem with Amazon.com to sell retail books. Hmm. Neat. That's... Uh. Hotel Transylvania 3 officially announced for 2018 release. Eh. Eh. Yeah. I mean, uh, Trans Hotel Transylvania 2 was really nice. It was, like, family-friendly and all that jazz. Did you see it? Uh, my parents saw it. Uh, not, not with the... Not with the rest of my siblings, just my parents. Oh. They just went to so go see So, state it. movie? Yeah. Hotel what Transylvania really, what 2. I, what I really think they did was they just looked, IMDB'd the plot so they could tell us what it was about, and then they just went to a different hotel and shagged it up a lot. <laughs> it's not the first time they've done this. Uh. It's not. Why do you smile? Boy, the English patient <laughs> was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So Fast-paced action all the way through. Uh, you'll have to explain that to me later. I'll, I'll explain it to you later, my child. Thanks, Dad. Twitter replaces favorites and stars with likes and hearts. Okay. That doesn't affect you because you don't use Twitter. I don't use Twitter. You should. I use Snapchat. Okay. That's something, I guess. Find me at Pride Point on Snapchat. Sony. Okay, fine. <laughs> Sony withholding the last Guardian footage to preserve the story. And they say we don't want to show too much. What was the last Guardian? Was that the one with the owls? Oh, it's the game! Yeah, the game. Oh, it's that awesome game. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Ever since Sony re-revealed the last Guardian for PlayStation 4 at E3, the publisher has kept a tight lid on the project. Yeah? Yeah. Is that the news? Yeah. That they're just not telling us anything? Yeah. <laughs> the news is, there's no news on this. Yes. I just want the game to come out, okay? Yeah, it looks like it looks like it's gonna be great. Should they just like Shadow Colossus? That Speaking home. of games coming out, which we'll probably Fallout Four. Yeah, well, I was beat you to the punch. Oh, God, mm, that's what? probably gonna be our topic next week. So if you have Fallout Four stuff you want to talk about, well, not Fallout in general, because we won't play the game until next week. But oh, yeah, you're gonna get that game. Aren't yeah, you? I'm gonna buy it the day it comes out because I work. When at... does it come out? It comes out on November tenth. Okay, on so the Tuesday. On the Tuesday. We're going to talk about okay. the other Fallout games okay. before then. But the news is voice actress Courtney, Courtney Taylor, <laughs> Fallout 4, is like a Pixar movie. What? They've taken it to a new level. And, but a, 
Courtney Taylor is very familiar with Fallout 4. To bring its player female character to life. No. The voice. <laughs> that was not a response. I am perfectly fine with a female character. That was me <laughs> burping from something I ate earlier. Okay. That is not some kind of sexist commentary. I thought I'd clarify that. But to bring its player female character to life, the voice actress recorded around 13,000 lines of dialogue over a two year period. The longest she's ever spent on a video game. And she spent a lot of time on video games, if you know what I'm saying. That's parentheses in the article. <laughs> Taylor has, in fact, spent so much time on Fallout 4, she's familiar with the stuff that even the most obsessive player will never see. Even if the camera never goes there, we know it's there, she tells me during our interview. Here's... Oh, it, it, it has a whole thing. I don't know how she, she means it's like a Pixar movie. Maybe because they recorded a lot. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I it don't... has like one of those happy endings instead of a, hey, walk into this radiation chamber. Have fun. Spoilers. <laughs> what about what? I didn't say it was to anything. There you go. That's you not you Fallout know. 3. John Wick to become a virtual reality experience. What? I don't know. Coming to HTZ5. John Wick is making its way to virtual reality with a brand new experience that allows users to inhabit the character using HTC's Vive headset. According to Variety, Lionsgate is partnering with the VR setup Wiver to produce the experience, which allows you to explore the Continental Hotel as Wick as you're tasked with figuring out how to bribe the concierge, pick up dubious clues, and finally dodge bullets as someone breaks the Continental's code of conduct and attacks their hotel room. Okay. Users will be able to move about freely in a 10 by 10 feet space and even have to get on your knees to escape the bullets once the attack starts. Hmm. It also makes use of Vive's pair of handheld controllers, which give you the ability to interact with things like moving a virtual reality lever in the hotel's elevator. The experience is currently limited to demos and road shows as the VR market begins to find its footing. It's a very immersive environment, Lionsgate president and Interactive Ventures and Games Peter Levin said. It's just immediately sucks you into the oh, discreet, okay, into the paused. very discreet world. In addition to this VR experience, Lionsgate is also on work on a sequel film, having announced John Wick 2 earlier this year. Shooting is currently underway, and Oscar winner Common is set to play the villain. Okay. With something like that, I don't understand why they don't just make it augmented reality instead of virtual reality. What do you mean? Like, uh, from what they were saying, they're in a 10x10 10 10 room, correct? Yeah. And all this is happening. Why not just kind of... That way I can cut it. Oh, okay. Unpause, continue. <laughs> that was gross, though. You, like, held your finger right up against my mouth. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> okay, if you don't want me to talk, I'll shut up. But, no. But if they made it an augmented reality thing, they could just, you know spend probably a little bit more money but just have like kind of a line like it's a ride and different people go into these separate 10 by 10 rooms where there's actual levers not virtual reality levers like an actual sofa there and everything like that but like with the headset or whatever you put on then you can see the thing that's going to happen like the people or the bullets that are flying at you that's all virtual but everything else you can literally interact with and everything that's in the room like you don't have to I don't know. They were saying, like, you'd have motion controls to pick up stuff. You could actually pick up the stuff. You don't need the motion controls for it. You just have this screen that would show you the enemies or whatever, the people right. shooting at you. Right. I don't know. Maybe that's too far in the future. Hey, talking about too far in the future, American Greatest American Hero remake gets Fox production commitment. <gasps> I love that show. Really? Yeah. I didn't expect you to know what it was. Yeah, I do. Look hey. at what's happened to me. Hey. What? Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. No, you're not. You're sitting on a couch. I never thought I could feel so free. Flying away on a wing and a prayer. I think that's as much as we can sing of it. Hey, everyone. It's Brooks from the future saying, yeah, today, this episode was our first one with a mic. And we fucked up. We fucked up. And there was a glitch of some kind that we didn't notice until I started editing earlier today. And there's no time to re-record anything, so I'm just telling you what you missed. It was weird. It was a really weird 10-minute block. Uh, 
of it just came and then it went. So most of the episode's still there. But to just give you an idea of what it was like, here's a little clip of it. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm excited for Star Wars. <laughs> I don't even care. I don't even care. Yeah, that's that's pretty awful. So, all you really missed, we talked about Dark Knight 3 by Frank Miller coming out soon. Um, we went into the topic, which is movie futures, talked about Back to the Future a little, uh, talked about Disney taking over the world, and basically you're coming in at us talking about how it's weird that anyone would care about Jaws enough for there to be 19 of them. And then, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much all you missed. So you'll hear a bit of the glitch as you go back in, but for the most part, it we're we're, we're dropping you back in at when it ends. So sorry about that. We will fix it next time. All right. Bye. From the future. Ooh. He was I in space. I want to see. There that was way. a reboot. And there was like a soft reboot and then like an actual reboot, like separate timelines or something. Okay. There was one when it was, uh, I don't know, I think there was an ice one. I could be wrong. Ice Jaws. Ice Jaws. Jaws and ice. And then it's Robot Jaws, of course. And whatever Jaws 19 was. Please, call it Robo Jaws. Robo Jaws? Yes. It could have been Mecha Jaws. Now, before we continue on with the uh, rest of the theme here, I think I'd like to introduce a little segment, if that's alright with you. Oh, you were telling me about this before. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the segment here is the FAQ, the Frequently Asked Questions of the Brooks and Zach Podcast. No and I've got has, a couple questions no here No one has you. asked a single question. First about. question comes from Killer900444. Why do you guys suck so much? Well, I, my favorite music if i had to answer it would have to be rock and roll what about you brooks uh, uh, uh yeah. alternative probably yeah well uh anyway we'll, we gotta get through these fast yeah. we got like three questions uh the next <laughs> question comes from boys are us uh stop making these uh no I, i'm more of a winter kind of guy i'm not uh, a fan of summer what about you uh season five was my favorite season five is your favorite type of season i got that <laughs> and uh the last one is uh the real frank rosenberg uh go die Mm, I'm gonna have to disagree. I'm more of a cat person than a dog person. Just kidding. I like dogs more than cats. Mm-hmm. Not not much of a cat fan myself. I, I want to die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that has been the Brooks and Zach Hundred Years <laughs> FAQ. All uh, right. Well, we'll do that more later. I got suspicious right away because we don't have people who listen to our show at all. No, no. <laughs> so what's your next future thing? My next future thing? Well, I'll tell you if I wrote any down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that look of dismay on your face says it all. So I- Time Cop was a movie, <laughs> and apparently it was like 2004, they get like time travel and shit. Yeah. I don't know. That was weird. <laughs> uh, what was the one? Uh, was it Time Cop? What was the one with the hotel? Uh, the Shining. No. Okay. It was future, future. Time cop. No. <laughs> Matrix. No, no. Ah, uh, it was like whole giant hotel complex, like the dread. Dread. I love dread. Judge dread. No, Thank no. You. Well, actually, yes, but no. The, there well, was the new one was the hotel complex. The old one was Judge Dread. Okay, then dread. Yeah. That one was an awesome. I love the totalitarian. I love dread because I could see every possible future essentially becoming totalitarian. Really? Yeah, I don't have much That's kind of bleak. Well, look, I mean, by the year 2025, it's uh, guessed that we're going to be pulled out of the recession that we're in. Right. And we're actually going to be up in a high point again, like the roaring 20s. Uh, but at the rate everything's going, like, the people who have all the money, they're kind of easily making all of the choices. Don't... Well, yeah, that's kind of bad. Don't forget... I learned about this recently. Um, we're gonna be out of oil not long because it took it took us ten it took us two billion years yeah. to get all the oil that we have now yes. or we that we had when we discovered it back in eighteen seventy nine. Yeah, and from eighteen seventy nine to now, we have burned through more than half of it. That's weird. And the conditions to make oil no longer exist 
which means in about 50 or 60 years, we are going to run out that's of oil. Good. And that's going to cause a lot of wars. I don't think it's going to cause, well, it might cause wars, but I hope it also causes people to go, hey, now we can actually use those healthy fuel sources yeah. that we've had, but those big oil industries keep paying us and threatening our families to not do. Or... I think that's a thing. Is that a thing? Or... That... No, oil. Mad Max. <laughs> Mad Max future. I don't want Mad we Max. We could do a Mad Max future. How would you think... Do you think you'd thrive in a Mad Max future? Uh, am... Okay, so... Am I me now in the Mad Max future, or am I me as, like, one of those uh, apocalypse veterans who are like, I've seen the world for what it is? Let's assume... The mo since it's the apocalypse and everything's depressing, let's assume that neither of us will change from now until the apocalypse starts. Okay. We will be exact same when it starts. All right. Do you think you'd be prepared for? A, do you think how do you think you would do in a Mad Max future? In a Mad Max future, where everything's based around cars and long distances of travel, f in a bleak desert, uh, not too well because. I am not good in the heat. I kind of need water. I haven't really been placed in a do-or-die situation as of yet. I don't have a problem with uh, the whole kill-or-be-killed kind of attitude, uh, mostly because my dad's a psychopath, and that's how he raised all of us. He's like, yeah, look, if you're going to die, you got to kill the person who's trying to kill you, right? That's the way to go. I'm like, Dad, that's... What if a rock's falling on me, Dad? Then you kill the rock, son. Kill it with your, with your blood. Make erosion destroy it over time. Then you have the last Grand time. Canyon that shit, son. <laughs> Grand Canyon that shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I would not do well in a Mad Max feature because I'm a bad driver. Yes, I you are. I would be like... Jesus I would Christ, be like, we've talked about we, this. There's a scene in the opening of Mad Max Fury Road when he's standing with his car and he sees the war boys coming and he drives off. Mm -hmm. And I would, I would do that. I would be like all long hair full beard like even a two-headed lizard yeah and i would turn and look see the war boys i'd be like get in my car throw the stuff in there's quick cuts and everything turn on the car and he's like all right okay gotta just gotta get out of this parking space gotta get i gotta get <laughs> you around throw it in rocks. neutral and gotta, floor it in neutral and yeah like, why, so like, why is it not going oh wait yeah i'm it's it's supposed to be it's on N for no go when it should be on R for ready to go. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> then you floor it right into them. They all yeah. go flying through the windshield and you win and you're like, what the fuck? Did I, I do did it? it. <laughs> I, I saved, saved the world. world. Okay. Any other interesting movie futures? I guess we've gone from our original topic, which we kind of miscommunicated about, yeah, just movie bit. futures in general. Movie the... futures in general. Yeah. What, what other movies go into the future? Wasn't there a, uh, a time, the poster on that? Like, Star Trek! No. Well, I... Mm, let's see. That's a non-totalitarian future. Yeah, that is a plus. All right, uh, all right, let's... Here's a scenario. You, me, Yaskovich, Mattis, uh, Gr Griffin, Na Griffin, and Nathan, and I guess Willem. He'll work in the engine room because he fucking hates. <laughs> he'll me. be Scotty. Yeah, but we all have a ship. Uh huh. It shall be called the uh, Hundred Years. Uh, the SS Hundred Years. The hundred Years K, because it needs to last more than just a hundred years if we're in space. So, yeah. Hundred Years K. Hundred. Hundred thousand. There we go. So. Hundred years, thousand. Yeah, so what would everybody's role be on this futuristic ship, and how do you think we would thrive on it? Because this is a dude ranch right now. There's just dudes <laughs> here. None of us have lady friends. Nathan, I think, he's the chef. He's yeah, Nathan is definitely head of cooking. He yep, is head fantastic. of cooking. Also, uh, that guy who used to be a war vet, so he knows his way around a gun very well. I don't think I'd be captain, because that's a lot of responsibility that I'm not really comfortable with. I could see you managing communications. Communications, got it. Yeah, but <laughs> it's like, Brooks, tell him we need to talk. Hey, I fu- uh, shit. Okay, uh, guys, guys, listen. So, um, like, okay, let's let's do this. Brooks, they're, uh, they're locking onto us. They're ready to fire. Tell Look, them man, fuck you. Tell them to disengage. Tell them to disengage. Guys, 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 guys. <laughs> Guys. Did you turn on the com communication? Oh. Uh, 
Dead. Now let's think about what Josh's role would be because let's think. It's not Frank Rosenberg, which is the drunk caricature of Josh. That's correct. We're thinking Sometimes about Josh, confused. the actual person who is capable of doing things. What is he well. capable of doing? Well, well he's a very he's, <laughs> he's very artistically minded. Okay. Like he he's very he's good he's good he makes good movies. Yes. So how does he that is, help? In he's Asia? a competent person. So if we gave him a job, he would be able to do it. Navigation. Yes. He he'd be able to do that fairly okay. well. All right. So Willem, I I think engineer. Yeah, Willem's an engineer. Griffin, I'm gonna say gunner. Griffin okay. Griffin's gonna be that weird gunner who kind of has his bed in the gun room. Or whatever, and we all go up into the gun room sometimes yeah. to look, and we see him there. He's like, "Nah, what do you want?" And we're like, what, "What the fuck, dude?" I guess that leaves you as the captain. Oh shit! I don't. <laughs> all right. Do you? Uh, no, no, any no. of our friends? I, I Caleb w- would be the captain. Caleb's captain. Right, Caleb's right, captain. Yeah, what would you be then? Oh, what would I be? Uh, I'm trying to think. In think tr- of Star Trek stuff. Can I be the ship doctor? Yes. All right, because. I have all the futuristic gadgets to tell me what's wrong, and I'm like, all right, let's see. Shot of hyperpenicillin. You're good. Uh, that yeah. was uh, that was the AIDS one. Right, right. Shot of negative AIDS. <laughs> that was just air. All right. <laughs> now there's a lot of air in my bloodstream, and I am dead. And well, then I just fall over. Good thing we made clones of you. <laughs> just plug in the uh, clone. I'm just like, what, <laughs> what? what? Todd? Todd? Am I de- is that Todd? my dead body? <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry. And then I just throw it out the airlock. <laughs> I was thinking of them. <laughs> There's so many bodies just flying out the airlock every <laughs> single day. It's <laughs> like, like we get str- like we run out of gas, so we're in the same spot for a while, and there's just a bunch of <laughs> There's a our bunch ship, of, there's a bunch of a, bodies all around it. Our ship has a coating of dead bodies around it. It's just It's a secondary shield. Yeah. You have to burn through the bodies before they get to the hull. I, when I, uh, the thing I was thinking for the clone thing that uh. what I was going at was uh, one of Yaskovich's ideas for our title where it was like J- J- Jake, <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of physicality to that, so the listeners don't get the same effect. Right. Uh, okay, so that's Star Trek future. That's uh, I thought that was Firefly. That's Firefly future. That, that is Firefly. Okay, yeah, so we got our Firefly crew. All right. Uh, what about our uh, zombie future? Zombie future. That's yeah, a future that, that happens a lot. That is a future that happens. Doesn't a lot. seem like it, but pretty much every zombie movie, if it's not supernatural, is science fiction. Yeah. So what is your weapon of choice? Uh, so I need something that's very easy to, s- I want a melee thing. Okay, why melee thing? Because any ranged weapon that's not a gun, like, I wouldn't want a gun because it would be the noise and okay. would attract zombies, like, all the time. Not a crossbow. But that's what I'm saying. Okay. Any ranged weapon that doesn't make the noise of a gun, I would be too incompetent to be able to use properly. Um, so that rules out crossbow, bow and arrow, any of that kind of stuff. Like a sling that I, like <laughs> I take a rock and I like swing it around my shot. head. And no, it's no, not a slingshot. Like no, a like a sling, about. like a David and Goliath thing. Yeah. Like I would be too incompetent to use that. Okay. So I'm thinking I need a melee weapon that's very effective, very sharp. Easy to swing. So you're talking Will about... not get stuck in zombie heads. So you're talking about Arya's needle from Game of Thrones. Yes. That is the weapon you want? That the is one my made choice. for a 13-year-old girl? Yes. All right, Brooks. Okay. <laughs> That's about my level. It's... I mean, okay, I- I'm going with these are the zombies that are like dead rising or walking dead kind of yeah, zombies. Yeah, yeah. There's no a whole bunch of them, but they're not like fast or super yeah. strong. They're yeah, just... like actual zombies. Yeah, like, you know. So... For me, what I would want is probably wearing SWAT guard stuff, so it, like, covers my arms, legs, you know, vital chest area, shoulders mostly. But I would probably duct tape a bunch of knives or something around my arms, just so, you know, backhand a zombie in the head. I don't mind getting close. All they have to do is... What if you got a poop? What if I got a poop? Well, that's when I take off the armor... And I make sure everybody... What if there's a zombie in the toilet? 
uh, you check the toilets first, Brooks. What if you did, and there wasn't one at first, and you started, and then and there then was one? And then you hear the music, and you're like, fuck, there's a zombie in here now. <laughs> it's, just, music. it's just like, ah, oh, finally. So much travel, so many killing zombies, I can finally rest and just, you know, relax on this toilet. And you sit down, you pull your pants down, you sit down, and you're just like, ah. And then you hear, da no 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 that's not the Walking Dead thing. <laughs> Dun it, dun it, dun it. No, it. Dun it. Like I can, like it. It's iconic enough that I know exactly yeah. what it is in my head. I just can't do. Dun na 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 na. That's not it. No, it's not. But look at how it looked on the audio. It looks. I'll edit it in. Fine. Okay. This is the Walking Dead theme. Dun it, dun it. No, not that. This is the Walking Dead theme. Oh, yeah, I like that one. And then, and then you like you're sitting on the toilet and you hear that and you're like, oh, shit. All right, hold on. Let, let's just act this out, just so you already have the Walking Dead MP3 on your computer now. Uh, at this point in time, yeah, at, this... at the point in time when I'm listening to this on Saturday, at... yes. Yeah. So you just all right, uh, all right. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna be myself. You be the zombie noise when it has to be okay. impertinent to the thing. Wait. When you say zombie noise, do you mean the music or the actual zombie noise? The actual zombie noise, because okay. you'll be adding in the music. Okay. All right, so, uh, coming in, hold on. All right, gonna, getting in here. Uh, all right, uh, taking everything off. Uh, open that stall door. Close it behind. Oh, lock it down. Already checked the other stalls. There aren't any zombies around. All right, one pre-stretch. All right, ready to drop a deuce at... Shit. Uh, 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 a mildly intimidating zombie. Uh, oh no, it's just Brooks. Uh, uh, no, uh, I can actually bite me. <laughs> that'll be my horsey's corn. <laughs> you biting me? Uh, let me just wipe off this blood. Yeah, it's gonna be your what though? I didn't hear what you said. It's gonna be my horsey's corn. <laughs> <laughs> I got you to do it. I got you to do it. God damn it. <laughs> Every time. Uh, I'm surprised you haven't picked up on how like I'm I'm straight up mixelplexing you right now. Oh uh, yeah, you are. <laughs> you really are. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll end on this next one, which is the Terminator future, where it's all skulls everywhere, uh, just uh -huh. skulls everywhere. Yeah. So if you lived in a future where there are a bunch of skulls on the ground, well, how do you think you'd do? J Jake? Jake? <laughs> Jake? Is that you, Jake? Oh, shit, Jake. I, I don't know. It, it, am I the only one in this future? I, I don't know. Okay, fine. Uh, skulls on the ground, plus there's Terminators walking around. Uh, First, I'd go, shit, these things can't be harmed, correct? They just like immediately regenerate and all that jazz? Well, the liquid metal ones, yeah, but the normal ones are just robots. So You and I really have to watch those movies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, can I kill one of the terminators and then take their gun and if then... you have a if you're part of the resistance then you have laser guns oh then yeah i guess i'd fight until i'd be dead which probably considering my reckless nature would be very soon and then you would be a skull on the ground yeah so that's it for the movie futures this was a really all over the place kind of episode but <laughs> it's it was okay. fun yeah it was I yeah, enjoyed we're, these we're coming up on the time when like we end these you know we're yeah. keeping them short yep all right, so where do you think we're going to be in 100 years? Oh, That's yeah, 100 years. 100 years question. Because where were we 100 years ago? 1915? Yes. Yeah, so... Uh, flight was new. Flight was very new. Uh, uh, World War One was going on. All right, so in 100 years, I think there's going to be another really terrible war. Yes, I at think. least one. Because statistics show that, like, wartime, like, war-related deaths all around the world have been drastically decreasing ever since world war ii mm -hmm. so i feel like before we have an era of mostly peace we're gonna get at least one big war out of our system yeah because we're a very warlike species and we're gonna like try to fight back against the fact that the world's getting progressively better i'm not expecting us to be in space and doing space travel stuff in a hundred years i'm really i'm I imagine there's going to be I more think, stuff in I space. I think it's gonna. I think we're gonna have a lot of Mars stuff going on. 
maybe, but no. Nah, like if we're starting, if we're starting a lot of Mars stuff right now, then in a hundred years from now, we're definitely gonna have Mars stuff. But think about if we had the uh, the resources to make like a new Earth kind of thing. I don't know about that in a hundred well, years. Well, like a new thing on a different planet, then we have enough resources to make Earth better. Right. Like not as shitty as it is right now, and all the poverty in some places. So you know, if, why not both? <laughs> uh, because people aren't good people. All right. The ice caps will melt. The way I oh definitely, Florida is going to be completely submerged yeah. along with Venice. Other parts. Are we Ven- close to the coast? Are we close enough to that? I don't think we're close enough. Oh shit. Maybe in a hundred so, years we're probably close. in a hundred years we're gonna be doing this on a boat. <laughs> Our last episode boat confirmed. All right, boat gate twenty uh one fifteen. Why did you have to think that hard about a hundred years in the future? Because I was just gonna do twenty sixteen. I'm like shit. This isn't a president. I gotta <laughs> I gotta do it different. <laughs> oh great. Uh, so, what else? Like, technology advancements? There has to be a chip you're gonna embed in yourself. There, eventually. There's gonna be cyborgs, yeah. Yeah, there's gonna be, like, I don't know, like, somebody puts a chip in their, like, wrist or something like that. And then they, and then they, the chip doesn't update, everything And then everybody's just like, ugh, just I like, wanted the new one. Like, I, I got used to the old one, and now I got this, now the update, like, changed, like, moved all the apps around or mm-hmm. something. I'm hoping robots are going to replace all retail stuff, so, like, there's going to be actual jobs for people to do, or, like, you know, people... Or, you know, mass unemployment. Well, look, something that We're happened... gonna... A lot of people are gonna be employed in fighting the war against those robots when they inevitably take over. Right. Uh, isn't that called the singularity? The singularity is going to happen, I just don't think it's That's been predicted now. for, like, 2050-something. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's There silly. was a Game Theory episode on it recently. Awesome. Film Theory, actually, Film made by the same people. Wasn't aware of that, but I know... Uh... Yeah, like, technology, as it advances, actually, more jobs happen. Like, uh, back in whenever people still spun yarn they made that machine that like wove yarn like 20 times as fast as yeah. a normal person spinning yarn the loom the loom that's right i don't know if that's correct i don't know maybe but anyway it was that thing and then the loom definitely did start existing at some point in time yeah. or the printing press people yeah who had to rewrite everything they were out of a job but then it made so many more jobs for people doing a printing press that kind of thing i don't know so what you're saying is the printing press is going to make a comeback. Y- yes. Every day. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> well, that's it for this hundred years. <laughs> yeah, that's, oh, it's been a good one. I, so let's plug. I, all right. Uh, <laughs> you can find us on Twitter, at 100 years pod. You can find me, at Squeezy McCheesy. And Brave Zach, Snuggles. At Brave Snuggles, yes. Uh, if you feel like you want to write to us, possibly about the Fallout episode coming out next week, Yes. Yeah, so we can actually talk about I've been playing a whole bunch of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, tell you that much. Oh yeah, we forgot to do the what we're what's going on in our lives. Yeah, I've been playing a whole bunch of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, almost done being an indentured servant over 45 minutes. Yeah, away. slave labor. Yeah, it's almost done with that, so that's a plus. And I bought Welcome to Night Vale, that book. Nice. It's an amazing book. It is great. It is creepy. It is fun. I recommend everybody buy it. it I'll so probably fun. get it eventually. Most of what I've been keeping up with is Fargo, the TV show. Mm-hmm. It's season two is really good. That's what I've been hearing. Z Nation season two came out. Really? Have you heard of Z Nation? No, I have not. Imagine. Is it like I Zombie? No. What's I Zombie? It's a show. Okay, so Z Nation is a zombie show that. It, it makes fun of itself constantly. There was an episode where there was a zombie NATO. Shark NATO, but with zombies. Oh, I thought you meant, like, the European trade deal. The Atlantic, like, the NATO? No. Like, N-A-T-O? No. Like, zombie NATO? <laughs> there was a zombie tornado. And oh, like, it's okay. Like that, makes, of, that makes yeah, more sense. It's like there's some sort of zombie tornado. And, like, a zombie flies through the air and, like, explodes up against the barn door. And you're like, what the fuck? Why is this happening? But it's so funny. This guy gets high with a zombie, and the zombie's like, uh, what's happening? <laughs> and like, oh, this is neat. Anyway, yeah. you should watch that. It's a fun comedy thing. If you've got time to kill. I will kill it. <laughs> anyway, 
So, continuing with the plugs, you know, if you want to talk to us about the Fallout or anything else, just send us an email at Please talk to us. Brooks and Zach hundred years at gmail dot com. No, he cannot. I just he can't. physically can't. I can't. I if these chains were any looser, I would be out of the Brooks and Zach hundred years apartment. Yes. Complex. <laughs> yes, you would. So Pinterest, Brave Snuggles, uh, Twitter. We we years. went. We did the Twitter. 100 years pod yeah um that's if you're listening to us on itunes on the podcast app find us on soundcloud soundcloud's our main thing you can follow us like us leave comments do all that sort of good stuff if you're watching us on soundcloud you can also get us on different apps and download us look at that and the brooks and zach 100 years game on the app is coming in 50 years look forward to it it'll be for our 50th anniversary of the 100 years our halfway point nobody's gonna like it nope everyone will hate it it'll be the robots will get it and they'll be like what the (laughs) fuck is this shit i didn't download this the fuck is going on is this the u2 again (laughs) (laughs) all right so you ready to end the episode as we always do the same sign off that you always do same sign off every single time Ugh. You you close your eyes, then you open them, then you close them again. This is how you blink. Then you look at your hands. That's a new crack I've never seen before. You trace your finger along the cracks in your hands, wondering, should I moisturize more often? No, you shouldn't. You moisturize the just right amount. You close your hands and imagine that there is a locket inside. That locket is a picture of something and someone precious to you. You hold it tightly, kiss it. Mm-hmm. And then you hold it up to the sky and shout, Brooks and Zach, 100 years! Thank you for watching, everybody. I'm glad, I'm glad we had this moment together where that metaphorical locket was in our hand yet again, as it always is. See you guys. God damn it, Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> you can't watch podcasts. <laughs>